Hi friends, welcome to YS Tips and Tools. Guys, in this video, I am going to discuss the most important current affairs question from the 16th of August 2023 current affairs. Guys, these questions are very important for the prelims examination in 2024. Guys, in the last couple of years, I have been successfully predicting more than 50 questions in the UPSC prelims examination. And I am very confident that anyone who follows my prelims power play consistently throughout the year, then definitely he can crack the prelims examination easily. Guys, my name is Santosh Pandey. I have the record of cracking the prelims examination all six times with one of the highest score ever scored by any UPSC aspirant. So guys, without any delay, let us start the today's PPP discussion. Guys, the very first question which I have framed is a polity question on a very important topic of federalism. Guys, on the Independence Day speech, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister has sought the transfer of education to the state list. In this context, okay, I have framed this question. You can see here education originally a state subject was moved to concurrent list by Indira Gandhi government during the emergency. So I just want to know from any of you who is watching this video in the comment box, please tell me which was that constitutional amendment which shifted education from the state list to the concurrent list. And in that amendment, which other subjects were transferred from the state list to the concurrent list? Okay, let us see the question. How many of the following pairs are correctly matched? Education, union list, this is incorrect. Just now we have said that education is in the concurrent list. Okay, so it should be moved to, the demand is it should be moved to state list. So at present it is in concurrent list. It is in the concurrent list. Okay. Gambling is in concurrent list. This is also incorrect. Public order state list. This is correct. Forest state list. No, this is incorrect. Forest is also in the concurrent list. Is in the concurrent list. So the answer is only one. So the answer is only one. How many of you have got this answer correct? Okay, please do let me know in the comment box. Okay, so please do prepare all the items in the state list, all the items in the concurrent list. Okay. Uh, let me know how many of you can tell me water is in the which list state list or the concurrent list or the union list okay let us move on to the next question consider the following okay the protected area is situated in the tri junction of karnataka kerala tamil nadu it is part of the nilgiri biosphere reserve it is an important corridor for migratory elephant the thepa kadu Elephant camp. The Thepa Kadu elephant camp is located inside the protected area. The above is true for which of the protected area? Bandipur National Park? No, it is not correct. Mudumalai National Park? Yes, this is the correct answer. It is not Nagarhol. It is not Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve. It is the Mudumalai National Park. Guys, this national park, okay, this protected area is very, very important for the UPSC prelims examination next year. Very, very important. Particularly, this elephant camp, okay, Thepa Kadu elephant camp is very, very important. Okay, so I am giving you one question, one small question. Okay, can you tell me which river flows through the Mudumalai National Park? Which river flows through the Mudumalai National Park and which are the tribal, okay, which tribals which can be found in this uh, national park, okay, or, or in this protected area? or around this protected area. You have to tell me in the comment box. Let me see how many of you are able to answer it. Okay guys, so the answer is Mudu Malay. Such kind of questions are very favorite of UPSC. Okay, and you need to prepare all the protected areas. You can refer to my table, the environment protected area table. It is very, very important. Okay. The next question is I have framed is on a scheme. So guys, Union Cabinet has approved Central Sector Scheme PM Vishwakarma. PM Vishwakarma to support traditional artisans and craftsmen. Okay, in this context, let us see the question. Consider the following. Vishwakarma Yojana aims to empower traditional artisans and craftsmen with financial assistance and skill development. Yes, first statement is correct. The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is a nodal ministry to implement the Vishwakarma scheme. Guys, this statement is incorrect. Guys, here, I am going to teach you an option elimination strategy which works in the UPSC prelims examination. Guys, what I have analyzed while analyzing the last 10 years of UPSC prelims question, generally, whenever they are framing questions on schemes, 
what they will do is that they will change the ministry so generally the statement about ministries are generally incorrect okay it is the msme ministry msme ministry's answer is only one further what they can generally what i have observed is that okay this scheme is a central sector scheme you can see here this scheme is a central sector scheme so they will change it to centrally sponsored scheme okay and they will trap you okay so this is also they have like they are like uh, famous doing it but generally aims and objective which is the first statement aims generally is correct okay let us move on guys next question the next question i have framed on this important news item with amendment act with amended act kicking in odisha has no deemed forest odisha has no deemed forest so what is this concept of deemed forest what does the term deemed forest refer in india forest areas that are declared ecologically sensitive zones by moef no forest areas that considered to be degraded or barren but have potential to be restored no forest areas that are under the direct control and organization of central government as per the indian forest act this is also incorrect forest areas that despite being officially designated as forest possess dense tree cover and ecologically characteristic similar to forest yes this is a deemed forest this is the deemed forest guys can anyone in the okay video who is watching the video can you tell me which was that supreme court case which talked about deemed forest which talked about deemed forest okay let me see how many of you are able to see guys deemed forests are those forests which are not officially recognized or designated as forest but they have all the characteristics of a forest very 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 important the last question is again a mapping question you can see this news item 275 bird species counted during the corbett tiger reserve survey okay so let us see this question guys consider the following pair national parks and river flowing through them okay panna national park betwa river this is incorrect kain river flows through the panna national park corbett national park ganga river this is again incorrect ram ganga flows through ram ganga flows through the corbett national park kanha national park tapi this is again incorrect this is again incorrect okay let me okay ask how many of you know which river flows through the kanha national park which river flows through a kanha national park let me see how many of you are able to answer this mudumalai national park moyar river this is correct moyar river is a polluted river okay polluted river this is correct okay you can see here the answer will be only one pair which is the mudumalai moyar river okay please prepare this moyar river so you see today two questions i have framed on the mudumalai okay national park or mudumalai tiger reserve i have framed two questions okay so guys uh, you can see how i have been framing questions this high quality questions if you have the habit of solving such high quality questions and all questions are in the pattern of the upsc okay which is a new pattern of the upsc and guys in my test series i am giving these question these types of questions only and i have given a very good study plan i have given you a very good study plan and as per the study plan every week there is a test every week there is a test very high quality the best test series in the country and guys i have the experience of myself cracking the prelims examination all six times and in the last couple of years i have guided so many upsc toppers to crack the civil services preliminary examination guys preliminary examination is one of the toughest stage in the upsc and there are many students who are trapped in the prelim stage only guys if you follow this time table and if you take this test sincerely every week guys there is no force on earth that can stop you from cracking the prelims examination the link for the test is given in the uh, description of this video guys from the monday we are starting with a new subject in our time table which is economy so it is the best opportunity for you to start your prelim preparation guys many of you what the mistake they are doing is that they are they are focusing more on the optional subject and they are thinking that we will do the prelims examination after december don't make that mistake many are making this same mistake and every year they are okay failing in the prelims stage take prelims sincerely thank you bye bye take care